Cheers. Rick here. Uh, happy Homebrew Wednesday, everyone. Uh, it's been a little while since my last one. Um, things have just been really, really crazy. Uh, of course, everybody's um, life gets a little crazy at times, but uh, I, I finally got an opportunity to sit down uh, and to crack into one of my uh, oatmeal stouts I did uh, probably about almost two months ago, actually. Um, it was done with Nottingham yeast. And uh, it's a Midwest kit, one of their uh, parcel extract kits. Um, fantastic. Um, not a lot of sediment whatsoever in the bottle at all. Um, just enough uh, yeast left in there just to carve the beer up. Uh, of course, it was. It's a little over carved. I think I might have put a little over boiled priming sugar, but you know, hey, what are you going to do, right? Uh, let me see. What else has been going on? Uh, work. Work, work, you know, pretty much. Um, oh, uh, if you guys can see this here, um, been a new change to the uh, to the little computer room. Finally, when I got me a decent desk and uh, everything, and I'm sure you guys probably can't see this. Uh, every time I say it, you guys can't see it quite well. I have had a very successful yeast wash. I. Um, Done that mild uh, brown ale I did. It was a Midwest uh, partial mash kit I did about three weeks ago. Um, I used some of the uh, Y yeast uh, London Ale 10, uh, what is it, uh, 1028. And uh, I wanted to try my hand at it just to see how it worked. And uh, well, they'll say um, I do have two other jars. I didn't, uh, there was so much trub and everything in there uh, because it actually fermented rather fast. Uh, it was like a two or three, two or three days, and it was the airlock was bottomed out. Uh, had a little bit of activity going on still in the uh, fermenter. I did go ahead and crack the lid. A little bit of croissant still, but uh, not not a whole lot. Um, so it was kind of it was kind of crazy. It was kind of crazy. So, uh, but I wanted to try it, give it a shot, and uh, worked fantastic. Really did, and uh, I'm quite happy. Um, I've got, like I said, I have two more jars in the refrigerator right now. Uh, these were actually done uh, 920. Uh, but uh, you can see there, hopefully, that has a hell of a lot of yeast. And uh, the dog has decided she wants to beat the hell out of the uh, um, tripod. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, the, I really don't have a lot to talk about, guys. It's been really hectic between work, uh, doing a little remodeling still. I've uh, been working on, uh, actually, Working on getting my garage right now uh, kind of situated a little differently. Uh, move all of my brewing out there, get it out of the house. Uh, of course, I'm getting in a little trouble, uh, especially with that partial mash. Had the stove tied up for an hour, uh, doing the mashing, you know, everything else. So, gonna be trying to move everything out there and uh, just, you know, continue brewing. So. Um, I do want to thank you guys for watching. I know this is a really short one, and I do apologize, but really just, there hasn't been a lot going on. There really hasn't. It's been, uh, you know, normal life, <laughs> and uh, it really sucks. But hopefully here in the next couple of weeks, I will get an opportunity to uh, sit down, brew a beer, kind of enjoy myself, um, and have a weekend for a change. It's been a long time since I've had a weekend. But uh, anyway, guys. Ladies, gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, uh, I want to thank you for watching the video. Uh, hope you enjoyed it, and uh, cheers. 17, guys. Mm. That's good stuff.